Hey guys, Shukesh here. So today I've got for you the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and uh, this will cost you about 57,000 rupees in India and about $649 in the US. So in this video, I will not talk about the software features like S Pen features, the tips and tricks. I have a separate set of videos for that. Check the description for the link. Uh, today, let's talk about other usability, other important aspects like like the camera browser and uh, like the gaming heat management the battery backup uh, my YouTube experience video watching the speaker quality and uh, my calling experience uh, this is a Wi-Fi only model but you can use uh, your other Samsung devices to make calls with this tablet I will show you that and uh, lastly I will also talk about a typing experience uh, with the one hand with two hand so I hope that this video will be useful and can actually help you make the right decision. So let's get started. First of all, uh, you get an 11 inch uh, IPS LCD display, no Super AMOLED and uh, the quality is not as per like flagships like uh, Note 20 Ultra which I just completed reviewing. and. Uh, I'm not totally 100% satisfied with the display quality. It could have been better. Uh, but again, considering the price point, Samsung decided to cut the price and include a TFT LCD display. After Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, this new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 is the next Samsung device with 120Hz variable refresh rate display and it's adaptive. That is, uh, the refresh rate changes in accordance with what you are doing or what app is opened. In gaming mode, the screen refresh rate can go as high as 120Hz giving you smooth, awesome feel. But since this is a variable refresh refresh rate display, the refresh rate goes down to 60Hz when you are streaming movies. It goes down even further to 30Hz when you are on email applications and viewing still images or browsing social media takes it down to just 10Hz. This is how you can save considerable amount of battery up to 22% compared to a full all-time 120Hz refresh rate display. So this is is how you can maintain balance in between battery and performance. Now gaming on this 11 inch display is real fun. It gives you the immersive experience and uh, since it's just a 498 gram in weight, uh, it doesn't feel that much heavy for long time gaming and with 8000 milliamp hour battery, the battery backup is also uh, better than I expected. I can play uh, this kind of games for 5-6 hours continuously and uh, if you're a normal user, you can get about 1.5 to 2 days now the display is actually quite bright uh, bright enough uh, for even outdoor uh, I have no complaints at all but uh, regarding the color and the punchiness of the pixels is not as uh, super AMOLED I have seen on flagships like uh, the Note 20 Ultra so don't expect that kind of uh, color and saturation but overall uh, it's not that bad at all and the PPI is 274 uh, again not bad considering the size of the display the total resolution is 2560 by 1600 and uh, the screen to body ratio is 83.6 so overall the build quality is uh, really solid it feels really good in hand the gaming experience is really good and you get flagship category processor uh, snapdragon 865 plus with adreno 650 uh, the ram on this uh, wi-fi only model is is uh, just six gigabyte which is not bad uh, you can play this kind of uh, high resolution high-end games without any issues at all but uh, maybe in terms of uh, multitasking you might face issues uh, if you want to open uh, four or five games or apps simultaneously which is not the case for most of the people so I have no complaints at all uh, regarding internal storage you get 128 gigabyte of storage 
storage and uh, it's expandable up to one terabyte using micro SD card so that is a plus point and uh, overall my gaming experience is great it's a uh, very very smooth the touch response is uh, very smooth very fast and uh, it's almost like a smartphone and uh, if you are a heavy gamer you will love it so now let's talk about the heating well i did not face any kind of heating issues of course the aluminum back heats up after long term gaming but uh, it's totally acceptable and there is no sudden uh, battery drop or sudden overheating so uh, rest assured about that uh, overall if you are into hardcore gaming this kind of tablet may be a great choice instead of a small phone it will give you the true gaming experience a pc gaming experience so you can definitely go for it now let's talk about the sound quality from the loudspeaker it's definitely very very loud you got this speaker here Though uh, the clarity of this speaker is not like uh, the premium flagships but it's very loud and for gaming maybe uh, it is what you want. Now for uh, FPS type of games uh, the controls are easily accessible with uh, your thumb though you have got a big display most of the games are actually uh, optimized for this kind of big display so don't worry about that and uh, regarding the PPI 274 may not be the best if you look closely uh, you might even notice the pixels though it's not actually uh, visible uh, normally from normal distance like this so you will not be complaining about that if you want to buy this tablet uh, only for gaming uh, with the Snapdragon 865 Plus, uh, it may be a great choice, I will say, with the big battery, big display, uh, the great loud speaker and uh, i have no complaints at all it is a perfect gaming machine only the display could have been better with a super amoled So the loudspeaker is too damn loud if you compare it with a smartphone I think it's like three times louder uh, it's great for watching videos from a distance like a TV uh, so uh, for watching YouTube videos for watching movies uh, this tablet might be uh, great uh, the color the sound everything is superb regarding the color or the punchiness of the display uh, don't get me wrong I am actually using flagship devices like Note 20 Ultra and compared to that it's slightly dull but uh, uh, for a normal user for the first time user you will definitely love the display and uh, this should not be a deal breaker now let's talk about uh, the browsing experience well uh, a lot of websites I have found are not perfectly optimized for this display I don't know why uh, including Samsung's own website for this uh, s7 as you can see the text is overlapping the other text and it's not perfectly optimized even Samsung India's own website and uh, a lot of other websites have faced uh, some issues maybe this will be fixed uh, and uh, overall I think browsing on this big display is real fun as you can see this time the display is perfectly optimized uh, even in portrait mode or in landscape mode and uh, browsing on such a big display is so much uh, intuitive uh, you can read text uh, the whole web page in single view and it's like an ebook if you want to read ebooks uh, with PDFs or uh, other web pages emails uh, big text uh, this kind of big displays are like a dream the PPI is once again not uh, bad at all you will not see any kind of pixelation even on smaller text so don't worry about that 
now i have mentioned before this is the wi-fi only model without the lt option but you can use this tablet uh, to make calls if you have another samsung device so what you need to do is log into the samsung account uh, on this tablet and also on that uh, smartphone then uh, go to this advanced features and then call and text on other devices there as you have seen uh, i have made a call uh, to the mobile number that has been connected to this tablet uh, using the samsung account and i have got a call here and i can answer and uh, it is uh, mostly suitable if you have uh, Bluetooth earphone paired with this tablet otherwise uh, you don't have any kind of earpiece at the top uh, you have to use the loudspeaker at the side or at the bottom or whatever uh, orientation you have on the tablet at that moment so you can make calls if you have a Samsung phone so maybe you can skip the 40 LT version if you are mostly using this tablet at home uh, otherwise uh, you have to spend like uh, 15,000 rupees more uh, for the LT option guys let me now talk about the typing experience you have three different kinds of uh, keyboard the standard keyboard uh, the split keyboard which is the most ergonomic you can use uh, just the uh, just the uh, thumbs to type and uh, lastly you have this uh, floating keyboard which is uh, the smallest and you can move it anywhere and uh, it's for one hand typing you can easily type with the one hand or just your right or a left thumb but uh, i prefer the split keyboard uh, so typing on this big display won't be a big issue of course you can get the uh, keyboard for this s7 and uh, you can also use your other keyboards uh, connected via bluetooth or uh, maybe the type c usb port you can also pair with your bluetooth uh, mouse so this gives you a laptop like experience especially with samsung decks uh, uh, you can connect to a bigger display and get desktop like experience lastly let's talk about the camera and uh, of course it's not uh, for the photography lovers i mean the camera department is the weakest here uh, you get a 13 megapixel main camera with f 2.0 and also an ultra wide lens with uh, f 2.2 uh, the megapixel count is 5 megapixel the front camera is 8 megapixel you can record uh, 1080p videos at 30 fps with the front camera and a uh, 4k 30 fps video with the rear camera but in terms of features uh, it's actually almost full-fledged I will say uh, you get this kind of uh, pro features like uh, the pro camera pro video camera and also you have got live focus uh, both for photos and videos except for the camera everything else is just like a smartphone and if you want to watch videos for ebook reading for gaming uh, this big display will be real fun and the speed of the user interface the response the overall experience is top notch uh, like uh, any other flagship category phone and of course don't forget about this s pen uh, i have once again separate videos for this s pen and other software features so uh, check those out overall this s pen basically uh, makes it so much more special especially if you are into drawing if you actually uh, want to use this pen as the remote when you are watching videos maybe giving a presentation uh, you can also control music volume and also you can skip to the next music next uh, photo video uh, etc with this s pen as a remote so this is not just a stylus it's uh, a very capable stylus i will say with uh, 26 ms uh, latency which is of course uh, more than uh, the note 20 ultra but i'm telling you guys this kind of uh, latency uh, is not gonna make any kind of difference in overall uh, experience so definitely uh for 57 000 rupees or 650 dollars this s7 this tab s7 is a great uh, device to go for uh, especially paired with this s uh, pen it makes it very very special if you are going outside you can actually keep your phone at home uh, you can go for the lt variant to make or receive calls or you can use the feature i've shown you to make or to receive calls and also uh, 
uh, overall I think it's a great device I will actually uh, suggest you to go for it uh, the price is really uh, competitive I will say considering the Snapdragon 865 plus processor that's all in this video thanks a lot for watching guys see you on my next video